The pink cloud was um, something that occurred after sobriety. I mean, when I was dropped into rehab, initially, I, wanted, I was checking my watch. I wanted to leave. When I got out, I was very positive, very optimistic. I was going to be sober. And I was very you know, worried about relapse, as though relapse were, was something lurking in a corner that was going to mug me. And you know, the pink cloud is the thing you sit on until life hits you in the head with like a reality machete. Mm -hmm. And in my case, the reality machete was the death of someone very close to me. And I did relapse. And the alcohol, to my amazement, didn't actually pour itself down my throat. I did it totally willingly. Mm -hmm. So you say that this pink cloud is this kind of temporary sensation of euphoria. It's this temporary mm -hmm. sense of well-being. Mm -hmm. and. Life is not a success only journey. You're gonna have challenges, you're gonna get pushed. You know, for me it was a good thing because it was, like you said, motivating, but I had to replace the alcohol with something and writing did that for me. Yeah. It's all about triggers and it's all about life upsetting your flow. For you, you lost someone that was close to you uh, and you relapsed and we don't want the twins to do the same because it's so easy to do. So. Here are some triggers that need to be avoided. And you know, talk about these a little bit. Being in social situations or places where you've had this bad behavior before, you've done the drugs, right? Because you don't, you don't want to tell yourself, I can handle it now because right. I'm better. Right. Becoming sober when you're an alcoholic or a drug addict, it is a profound change you have to make yourself. And the people around you, they also have to change and in different ways. And if they don't, you have to move on. Yeah. And being isolated socially is not a good idea either. Mm -mm. So. Well, there's like a saying among, or I heard it in rehab, that, you know, my mind is like a bad neighborhood. I don't want to go there alone. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you know, it's good to be, we're, we're social beings, you know, so don't stay alone yeah. and be sober, you know. Yeah, and of course, you can't be around those substances. Mm -hmm. Stress is a problem, and you got to guard against overconfidence, too. Mm -hmm. you, have to be, you have to remain fully humble. When you're sober, you're sober for this minute, and then the next minute, and then the next. And I mean, they can, in my case, they've accumulated into years and years and years. You've just got to be respectful and mm -hmm. gra very, very grateful. A big thing for you was writing. Uh, writing. You know, we talk about complacency. You know, if you get a mental illness or you have to get pain medication for something, mm -hmm. uh, reminiscing, getting bored, self-pity, all of these things can be problems.